Hey there, in today's Photoshop tutorial I want to show you how you can turn a photo like this into something like this. So uh, I'm gonna show you how you can create the multiple exposure effect in Photoshop. For this effect uh, you need, as I said, at least two images. Uh, if you have three or four, uh, uh, the effect will be a lot more interesting but also a bit more difficult when it comes to masking because we will use some layer masks to get this effect. It's uh, really advisable that you use a tripod but you can do it even if you don't have a tripod. Uh, you can do it uh, with the smartphone or um, any pocket camera that you that you have. It doesn't uh, take a DSLR or something like it uh, like that. One thing if you don't have a tripod you can use like a box or something to put your camera onto most cameras even cell phones uh, come with um, with a countdown um, feature so you can uh, put your camera and start the countdown and then uh, take the photo or you can ask someone to take some pictures for you the reason why you need a tripod is because if you use a tripod uh, the images will not move so you can uh, take three or four or five pictures and the camera will not move and that will help a lot when you uh, come here in Photoshop to do it but I will show you um, uh, that you can also do it even if you don't have a tripod and if your images uh, are moved uh, between the shots so um, as I said you can even do this with the cell phone today smartphones uh, take really high resolution images I have a Samsung and I can take up to 5,000 pixels uh, pictures so uh, you don't even need that much uh, uh, you don't need pictures that big but uh, of course the bigger uh, the better because when you make the image smaller to put it on the web or on Facebook or um, on some place like that uh, when you scale the image down you'll uh, improve the quality of the image so um, for this tutorial I took three pictures as you can see on the final effect here uh, if you can change the clothing between the, sh the shots uh, you will get an effect that's even more interesting uh, you can uh, make something like well uh, for example like you are talking with yourself or something like that that will make it a lot more interesting but for this tutorial I made it really simple and just took three pictures and uh, I didn't even change clothing. One other thing, if you don't have a tripod, you can uh, look for reference points. Uh, for example, you can look at the um, corners of the of your eyepiece if you have a camera or on the corner of the image and uh, more or less place the objects on the same place to try and take them as aligned as possible. But you can align images in Photoshop, so don't worry about that too much. So let's uh, get started, I don't want to make this um, too long, so this is the final effect and this is one of the pictures that I took, um, let me open the other ones, uh, I think it's this one and this one, okay, um, if you use the tripod and all the images are aligned together you can make something like, for example, go to file, choose um, script and choose uh, which one it was, load files into stack and here uh, you can choose browse and select all the images and if you didn't use a tripod you can click this option that says attempt to automatically align source images and that will align the images based on the features that Photoshop well it analyzes the images and the Photoshop it will align the images automatically so this is very useful if you don't want to do that you can also open the images like I did here then use the move tool and click on the image and drag it to one of the tabs here and put them one on top of the other and let's get this other one and put it right here and you can see that I have all the images here you can see they are perfectly aligned because I, t I use the tripod but uh, if for example your images are moved or something like that let's rotate the other one a bit like that and you have something like this you can see they are moved and for example, let's rotate this slightly like so. Okay, so if you do something like this, um, you can select all the layers. So make sure you first have all the images that you want to use on the same document on different layers. Select all of these layers and go to edit and choose uh, auto align layers. And 
you can choose auto from here uh, and take a look at how it looks after the process is done or you can try different I'll think I'll use reposition because I don't want to uh, distort the perspective or something like that I would use collage or reposition let's try this one see how it does and if not, just choose automatic and that's it. See that? It didn't uh, It didn't rotate that. So you would probably choose automatic. I think it will work a lot better. Let's choose auto. Click OK. And let's see what Photoshop does. Well, see that? It aligned all the images based on the top one because the top one was rotated. So even so, you can see a pixel or so uh, that it's not exactly aligned, but you can uh, align the images using the see that you can um, use a, the um, the arrow keys on the keyboard to align the images in my case that's not necessary so I'm gonna skip that okay now our, all my images are aligned now and all we need to do now is just mask is as simple as that one um, thing to keep in mind is do not Added the image separately. Do not add it the, the images separately. Uh, if you do that, you will probably end up with uh, different uh, uh, light and different colors, and that's not what you want. Also, do not use flash because, um, well, if you can, do not use flash because uh, if you have, like for example, reflecting surfaces or something like that, the flash will look um, bad. You will have those reflections there, and maybe you will get a different light. Um, effect on uh, between the shots so try to have as even lighting as possible in my case I have this light here which I well actually I have even the ceiling light is on I turn on all the lights that I had in house just to make sure that I have even lighting and uh, I don't have lights that change uh, even the TV screen here caused some problems on some of the on this image here because you can see the light is not the same let's uh, start editing this uh, the first image that I have here on top is where I'm sitting here on the uh, close to my computer and this one here I want to have these two images here because here I'm further away from myself so I'll create a new layer mask and I will use the black and white and I'll use this uh, gradient because I will drag a gradient like that uh, see that it's as easy as that I masked this right side of this uh, of the top image of this image here okay I masked everything here because I don't need that part and that's why I can see the image below which is this one okay now uh, take care of details using the brush tool use really soft brushes and just paint with white just to make sure that I have everything there also try to keep all the shadows that you have on the image because they will really give more realism to your image and now we have to go to the bottom image now I will hide the top image for a second because uh, that way uh, I can uh, well it's a bit difficult it's a bit more difficult to see which layer is uh, which so uh, now I am working with these two other layers here you can see on the palette on the middle and the bottom image and what I need to do for the image here on the middle is hide the this part here this part here because on the image below I'm standing right here so I need to reveal everything that is under this side of the image so I'll create a layer mask again and this time I will use the the brush tool uh, so I can well actually I, I can try using the same radial gradient the same uh, gradient sorry but reverse yeah something like that and now I can get the brush tool and paint with black on this middle la uh, layer paint with black to reveal myself on the image below now if you take a photo where you overlap yourself um, you have to be a bit more careful see here I'm using the soft brush so I'm deleting myself on this other image so take care um, all you need to do if you want to do that it, it will be a lot more interesting because the effect is a little more uh, realistic so to say more interesting and you can uh, increase the hardness of the brush the masking will be a bit more well you'll have a bit more work to do but uh, well 
Um, let's shift that and use the harness. See here, the light is different. I have this blue tone here because of the TV, and here the lines don't match. So I'll try to leave just one of it, one of those uh, lines there, and reveal my other image here. Uh, right here is uh, this is something from the light. It looks a bit weird here. I have this gray tone on my jeans. I don't know why. But anyways, uh, let's move on and carefully mask this part here. See, the bigger the size of the image, the better it is when you zoom in so you can work a lot better. And here I will paint with white because I want to keep this well visible. Okay, so now I have myself, uh, see here this problem here on the lines. Uh, you'll have this problem on your images, so depending on the texture that you have, to increase the brush and use this color here, like so. Now nobody can tell that uh, these are not matching. In fact, well, it's pretty well um, blended, okay? And now I'll reactivate the stop image. And that's it. All you need to do now is take care uh, of the details. For example, you can see I have my the key of the car <laughs> here on on the table but one of the images I think it was well this one I had my mobile phone here and on the other image I was playing with my phone so make sure you don't have the phone on both places <laughs> so look for duplicated objects uh, that will make it look unrealistic okay so this is the effect uh, what I would do now I would probably convert this into a smart object that way I can turn back and edit whenever I want and then I can crop this uh, to keep in focus the parts of the image that I want. Well, let's leave the cat in the frame because it's funny. Okay, I will probably crop it like that. And this is my image. Uh, as I said, take care of the shadows here. I, I kind of deleted this part of the shadow, so take care of that. Uh, I'll give you the images so you can uh, work with the same images if you want, but you can take your own, you can go outside and uh, uh, have fun on a park or on a bench or whatever, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'll probably scale this down to about 2000 pixels so I can use it as a, as a screensaver if I want to. So this is the multiple exposure effect that I wanted to show you. It's a really simple effect. Um, you can make it more interesting, as I said, if you uh, change uh, your clothing uh, between the shots. And uh, keep in mind not to use flash if possible, and keep a constant light on the room if you're doing it uh, if you're doing it indoor. And that's pretty much it. Use a tripod if you if you can, or put your camera on somewhere on some place uh, to have it steady. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, just um, post a comment on my website and uh, I'll try to, to um, reply if I, if I can. So that's all for now. See you next time.